What's up guys? Today I'm here at Maktan Shrine, located in Lapu Lapu City. This place is famous for a huge historic battle which took place in 1521. It was a battle with the Spanish against the native Filipinos. On the Spanish side it was led by Magellan and on the Filipino side it was led by a guy called Lapu Lapu. Let's check it out. Okay, and here we are. The Filipinos were victorious in this battle and it's mainly due to this guy here. Mr. Lapu Lapu himself. Let's check it out. I'm not sure what this says. It's all in Tagalog. So I have no idea. I guess this, this is just outlining uh, the battle you see on there. 1521 27th of April 1521 <coughs> what's, what's this marker over here? Let's check it out Again, it looks like it's a Tagalog, so I don't really have any idea what it says. It's there in English underneath, as mandated by... Okay, here we are. As mandated by the Republic Act 8491, the flag and the code of Philippines will be permanently hosted. And shall be limited at night. There you go. So that's just a plaque there, speaking about the flag. I have been here before, about seven or eight years ago, I was actually here. And this place was full of trees. And to be honest, it looked a hell of a lot better. There was shade, there was trees. The whole place had character. But for some reason, you know, they've taken all the trees down, they've put tarmac. And to me, that's, that's just crazy. You're getting rid of all the, uh, the heritage, the culture, the, the history of the place. Um, in a previous video, I've actually said the same thing. For some reason, it's taboo. The local government they love to take down trees and put cement for me it's the opposite you need more trees let's have a look <clears throat> said it's just all concrete it's all concrete and to me it's a shame so before used to be pathways you know, I'm talking seven eight years ago it used to be pathways you could walk around it felt like you were in somewhere bigger than it actually was because it was kind of like a maze but now it's just all flat concrete shame shame let's check out this one here what's this here again it's in Tagalog I don't really know what it's saying here again it's talking about the battle let's have a look again the stating April 1521 I guess this was put here in 2020 <coughs> so, you know, there's a lot of plaques here but they all, they're all in Tagalog so if you're uh, a tourist coming from outside the country, it's very hard to decipher what these plaques are actually saying. So apart from numbers and, and the odd few words, I'm totally lost as to what I'm reading. Let's check out this over here.
Here you go, guys. Lapu Lapu. This is the place. Here on the 27th of April 15, 2021. These men. European aggression. have this marker here this one marks the actual place where Magellan actually died on this spot Magellan died April 27 15 2021 wounded in a encounter with the soldiers of Lapu Lapu chief in Mactan Island so you can read the rest yourself there but this is the spot where he apparently actually died I guess this was placed here in 1941 amazing There's not really much here. I know it's a it's a big tourist attraction here in uh, Mactan, Mactan Island. But to be honest, when I was here before, I've said it already. It was a lot, a lot nicer. The trees were here. It felt like you're in something substantial. They take the trees away, cover it all with concrete. It just looks like a big car park. But what do I know? Maybe this is the look they're going after. So there's not much to explore, but I'll uh, I'll keep on going. I see a little market area over there. Let's check it out. So wherever you go around uh, Mactan, not just here, you'll see these decorative masks of Lapu Lapu himself. You find them everywhere around here, everywhere. Oh, look at this market. I guess this is all designed for the tourists. Hello. Yeah, all the souvenirs here for the tourists that come along. Let's take a look. I don't really think it's my colour or my size, so I'll give that one a miss. <laughs> remember when I came here before they were famous for frog purses believe it or not there's actual dead frogs and they're made into purses so I don't see any of those this time <laughs> see don't see any of those frog purses do you no <laughs> they were everywhere yeah, before yeah lots before oh there where? Oh, there we go. Famous frog purse. There were lots of these. Seven, eight years ago, this place was full of frog purses. It's a real frog. <laughs> well, these are nice, aren't they? Pila? 150. 150? 150 pesos? Yes, ma'am. Oh. Yeah? I'm not <laughs> I only know a few words. <laughs> Is that the best price? Yes, sir. 150. Before it was so expensive. Yes, ma'am. It's all right. 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 He understands a little. It's all right. Only a few words. It's all right. 150. It's all right. Wow. 
This one is really cool. Do you remember before, seven years ago, when mom was here, these are very expensive? Mm. Like thousands. 600 and now this one's nice for the house. <laughs> yeah. This nice. This one also the same price? Yes, sir. Oh. Same price. Hadi, this one's 100. Yeah, I like this one. You know what? I think that's a good price. I'll take that. 150. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'll have that one. Okay. I think that's a good fair price. No, I think that's a fair price. Oh, we have these already. We got these from Alongo Island. Yeah. What? Uh, beer mug, sorry. Hmm? Beer mug. Some <laughs> have a Or have a Lapu Lapu statues. Yeah. Peace mug. Lapu Lapu mug. Well, unfortunately, I've been plagued with a common problem with the GoPro 10. And that's overheating. Unfortunately, halfway through that uh, interaction with the shopkeeper, uh, it cut out. But hey, I got myself a nice little souvenir, which I'm going to hang in the house when I get back at the wind chime. But uh, that's basically it, guys. There's not much else here, to be honest. I think you've seen it all. So, that's about it. So for me, I guess that's it for now. To the next video, maybe, who knows. <laughs> Until next time, bye bye.